go. So we've got our program put in, our first part of the program. Um, we've homed our machine. We've set our zeros for the X, Y and the Z. And now we better do the cut. So here we go. So to start, actually, all you have to do is press the arrow up here. You actually have to press it twice. First time you press it, uh, this will light up as hold. Okay, and then you press it again and the machine will start cutting. Look at that. It's actually a perfect cut. A little bit of fray in there, but nothing, you know. That's a really good cut. You know, it's all right, it's MDF, but that's not bad at all, actually. Very, very good. So um, now we're going to do the 3D cut. So I'll reposition the camera so you can get a better view of this. And um, we'll, we'll do the 3D cut in here. Oh. Two and a half D cut in here, the smiley face. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to VBIC have all the text in one go.
Well, I must say I'm really impressed with this machine. Clean ladders, nice clean carving. My full size machine over there couldn't have done a better job. Well, that's pretty damn impressive, actually. Um, you know, my, my main machine over there, my big full size machine, couldn't have done it any quicker, couldn't have done it any cleaner. It's good. So I, I know I have no problem in recommending this CNC router from SameSmart. If you're looking for um, a decent CNC router that um, you know you could actually make your money back without too much difficulty. However. I have only got one small, and I emphasize the word small, uh, caveat. Now, I do understand why SameSmart has, uh, you know, sort of supplied this with a 300 watt spindle, DC spindle. And, you know, it's good. I've got one on my on my other little router over there and it works fine but there, there is certain limitations to it like um, I think I said just now that my main one over there my main CNC router over there could you know couldn't have done the job any better not strictly true it could have done it faster um, maybe a little cleaner I don't know, but um, I did notice even with this going at maximum RPM, which is 20,000 RPM, um, there was, I did notice, you know, it pulling it down a little bit as it was trying to push it through the cut. Um, probably if I'd have had it going a little slower, um, you know, it would have been maybe a lot better, I don't know. But it just didn't seem to be cutting 100%. It was cutting about 95% of what it could have done. So, um, why I say that is because... Well, firstly, I do understand why. SameSmart has supplied it with a 300 watt spindle because they want to give you a full product that you can use straight away out of the box and to keep the price down to the low level that it is and you know sort of be top of its class then or build quality and usability they have um, put the 300 watt spindle in but when you purchase your machine they also supply you with a much larger boss to go on here to fit and in my case I've just taken delivery of an 800 watt uh, spindle, not Makita spindle, router. It's a trim router, all aluminium, body, don't get a plastic one, okay, got to be aluminium body, Makita's the best. Uh, I think DeWalt do one as well, uh, maybe Black & Decker, but I know DeWalt do one. And of course it will fit straight into here. So that's the very first upgrade I'm going to do with this machine. Um, and the next time, the next time we run this machine to do the next job, it will be with this one. And um, I'm sure that's going to be a, 
a lot sort of uh, better in, in my case. But certainly the 300 watt spindle will do the job. You know, it will cut anything that you want it to cut. I've proved it in my other little router over there. Um, but, you know, if you really want to get serious with this for a very low cost upgrade, I think it's uh, 150 US dollars, this is a well worth upgrade and I shall be doing that over the next uh, week or so. Um, so there's the first job and I, you know I'm, I'm really really happy with this machine. So if you've liked the video please like and subscribe and if you really like what I'm doing you may consider becoming a patron to the channel because it is the patrons behind the channel, behind me, that assist me to purchase these, all these machines and do all these jobs and it, it enables me to teach the young folk out there and the older ones how to use a CNC machine or even build your own because the YouTube AdSense revenue uh, is just no longer there. So give it a thought. Um, and you could consider becoming a subscriber <laughs> to the channel as well. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being there. I'd like to thank the patrons behind the channel. And I hope you join me for the next video, which is probably going to be a Thunder Laser video. So until then, oh, one other thing, happy Australia Day. And until the next video, it's bye for now.